PLC Network here with another Q&A coming in from one of our viewers. But before we get started, I do have a question for you. How would you like to win one of these? We'll be giving one of these away this weekend, and we'll have more information about this right after today's Q&A. So today's question is coming in from Stephen Burke. And Stephen Burke is asking, how do I make use of a VPN on my network without having to set it up on every single individual device? And can I whitelist certain devices from it if I don't want them all to be behind it? That's actually a, that's a good question right there, Stephen. Uh, that one is a little bit more complicated than our last one. Our uh, last one was really easy. This one makes us have to think, or definitely now, especially since we have no script. But Stephen, the answer is yes, you can do this. And the, the way of pulling this off is doing it at the router level. So what you want to do, there's multiple different options or approaches you can take on this. You can actually look for a router that has built-in VPN support. And there are models out there that do have this where they support certain third-party services or maybe even their own, where you can enter it into the settings in the admin screen and get it synced up with uh, uh, or uh, connected to whatever VPN of choice in that list that you'd prefer to use and then the router will do the rest. Now, there's not a lot of routers that will do that. Uh, the, I believe that the list is starting to grow very slowly with the, you know, as, as the, the popularity of VPNs continue to grow, but uh, the other option is really going to be the most accessible option, but not always the most user-friendly, and that is to turn any router, uh, or virtually any router, into one that can support a VPN, but that requires playing with the firmware. Now, there's certain VPNs out there that support this. They actually offer certain firmwares that are pre-built for you, or they give you the instructions for it. Companies like NordVPN and IPVanish will make sure to have some of that information, or at least a link to some of these companies in the description below, but you can, you know, it is a possibility you can grab this firmware from them and, and flash it on to your router and or they'll give you instructions on where to go online to obtain this firmware. It's usually going to be DD, well, it's DD-WRT, which is an open source firmware for a lot of different, you know, various different models of routers that replaces the original interface, so it'll be Netgear or Linksys or whatnot. And then you'll start using their interface that offers so much more when it comes to options. Way more flexible, way more advanced too at the same time. So that's something to be careful with. So Stephen, if you are a novice, I wouldn't really recommend going this route. I would stick to using, you know, the easier app-based VPNs. However, if you do, you know, if you're intermediate or above and you want to get your feet wet in all of this, definitely look into it. And again, we'll have a link to at least one of the companies below in the description. Now, by doing that, you will include the entire network into the VPN and all the devices will write as one on it instead of having to do every single individual device. No, no apps or anything like that would be required and it'll be a lot more of a clean installation for you. It's just that initial setup that's, you know, it's kind of a hump to get over. But as for your second question on how to whitelist certain devices, uh, not necessarily, or this isn't necessarily really native to the few routers that offer VPNs. Some do, I believe. Uh, that's a question in the, that's kind of floating in the air right there. Uh, really, your best bet if you want to do that is you want to set up two routers. So you want your original, your main router to control the whole network normally, no VPN and then you can get a secondary router and attach it to the network. Now you're gonna give that a different SSID or a network name, so that way it doesn't conflict with the original router and you're going to set up the VPN on, the, on that router. So you wanna basically use DDWRT with the, with the modifications for whatever your VPN is of choice and get what we originally just spoke about installed onto that router. And then anything that you want behind a VPN, you can tell it to connect to that router, both wireless or wired. And anything you don't want on the VPN, you can connect to the original router. So that way you can have everything sorted easily once the, you know, the router's set up with the, the custom firmware. But uh, again, there's no apps or anything needed, you just, divvy up your devices based on your own decision on what needs VPN and what doesn't. That is typically the most user-friendly approach to doing this if you do not want everything on the network under a VPN. So there you have it, Stephen. Uh, wonderful question, actually. So good job. Great question. Thanks a lot. Now, back to the whole discussion we had earlier about the hard drive here. We will be giving away one of these this weekend. It will be 
uh, via one of our networks. Uh, so definitely make sure you follow us on social media. Uh, subscribe to our video below and follow us here on YouTube as well. Uh, feel, you know, definitely go to the website, subscribe to our newsletter, because you never know which channel we're going to give something away in whenever we're giving out free stuff. So go follow us, Twitter, Facebook, here on YouTube, our, our actual newsletter off the website. Follow us, and you never know, you might be the next winner of this hard drive. So we'll be announcing it on that network of choice this weekend, and we'll let you know if you win. So good luck, and uh, hope you get yourself on the fresh new uh, source of eight terabytes here. But if you liked what you've seen here, don't forget to subscribe below. We have that subscription button down there, as well as a comment section in case you want to discuss anything in today's video. And let us know, have you had this, a similar setup for yourself with VPNs, or do you have an alternative option, or maybe you're running one of the routers that natively supports VPN, definitely share below. Let us know which model you're using and your own user experience behind it all, and if you like it or not, and or if you have any questions or anything for each other to answer, or maybe we'll jump in there and answer them ourselves. So that comment section, definitely take advantage of it. Subscribe to us, and as always, we thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest, and or at least the gadgets we cover, Remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.